Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy and move worksheets between workbooks. Let's get started. So I have a workbook here and we have three tabs, April, May, and June. If you look, I also have a workbook here and this one contains January, February, and March. I'm going to show you how to get these three over here, April, May, and June, over here to January, February, and March. I should point out that April, May, and June are on a workbook called Copy and Move Worksheets Between Workbooks, and January, February, and March are, ones called, are on one called First Six Months. So let's go ahead and go over how to move these. First off, I'm going to open up the workbook for April, May, and June, because this is the one where I want to uh, move them from. And so first I'm going to show you how to copy a workbook to another, uh, or a sheet to another workbook. First thing you need to do is go to the sheet that you want to move, in this case April. I'm going to right click it, and then I will go up here and go to move or copy. When I click on move or copy, it's going to open up this move or copy dialog box, and this is where I could choose the workbook that I want to move it to. It's important that I have the workbook that I want to move it to open, because if I click this drop down list, then you'll see it right there. And there it is, uh, first six months. If I put it on a new book, that would just create a new workbook, so uh, there, there is that option as well. So I'll choose first six months and then it's going to show me the tabs right here for the first six months and you can see I have January, February, and March and then I also have move to end. Well I know April, the one I clicked, is after March so I'm going to click on move to end and then I'm going to go right here to click uh, this te text box and, or checkbox rather and it says create a copy and then I'll click OK and you will see that it now switches me to the first six months workbook and it now says January, February, March and now we have April here. Okay. Now the cool thing about clicking that box for create a copy is you can see if I go back to my previous workbook here for April, May and June, April is still here. Okay, And so I did not move that one but rather I copied. Remember when you make a copy it is duplicating it, it is not moving it. So if I have a copy I'm going to move it over, the original one remains, the, um, and the copy goes to the new location right here. Now I'm going to show you on uh, this one here, May, okay, so I'm going to click on May here, and I'm going to move May over to the other workbook, only this time I'm going to actually move it, I'm not going to copy it. So I could right click on May and go to move or copy, and then I can choose the workbook that I'm interested in, in this case the one that says first six months, and this time I will move it to the end, so it goes to the right spot, and it says May, right? So May is going to be the one that's moved to the end. This time I will not click the box for create a copy. When I click OK, you will see it switches me over just like last time to the first six months workbook. I can see January through May is now listed. That all looks good. Only difference is now if I go back to that previous workbook, you will see May no longer exists in the April through June area. Okay, so just keep Keep that in mind, on my list of months it no longer exists. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to right click here on June, I'll go to move or copy, and this time I'm going to kind of rush through this and show you what happens when you, uh, if maybe you don't move the workbook to the correct spot. On this one here I'm going to choose the first six months, and I will move this one over to, I'll just click OK. And I moved it over and it went over here for June. Keep in mind the reason it did that was because I did not specify the correct location. So then I would have to move it. And so I, then I could click on June and drag to the right to move June to its correct spot. Keep in mind I didn't click the box for create a copy. Uh, so, uh, so it actually was removed from over here. And the only one that remains is April. Okay. And so that is how you move a worksheet to a different workbook. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.